name is Morgan Fulmer and I am the first year college advisor at UNLV. When we talk about college, there are a lot of different terms that come up that may be unfamiliar. Today, I'm going to go over some important college terminology that students should know. Some of these terms may be familiar to you, others will not. Colleges are institutions of higher education that grant degrees and certificates. Types of colleges include universities, state colleges, community colleges, and vocational or technical schools. Each of these will grant different types of degrees and certificates. In many cases, students will attend class on campus. The campus is the physical space a college uses. However, many students also take classes online and only attend campus once in a while, or in some cases, not at all. A term that you may hear often is credit or credit hour. This is a unit that a college uses to show that you have completed and passed a course. Typically, courses are three credits, but there are some cases where a class is one credit or two credits, and some cases where a class is four or more credits. The more credits the class is worth typically implies that the class will require more work. A full-time student would take at least 12 credits per semester or 15 credits per quarter. A degree is something that students are awarded once they have completed all of their courses and other requirements. There are a couple of different types of degrees. There are associate degrees that take about two years to earn. Bachelor's degrees are an undergraduate degree that usually takes about four years of study to earn. There are also master's degrees, which is a type of graduate degree that typically takes two years to complete. Students would pursue this degree after receiving their bachelor's degree. Another type of graduate degree is a doctoral degree, which students would pursue after a master's. These degrees can take anywhere from five to 10 years to earn. A certificate is an academic credential that is awarded to a student who completes a program and usually takes less time to earn than a degree. You will be awarded these degrees based on your major, which is an area of study that you choose to focus on in college, and a minor, which is a second area of study that you choose to focus on. Minors are not required, but they allow you to take courses in a different field of study from what you choose as your major. One of the more confusing but important college terminology topics is verbiage related to finances. It is important that students understand these terms because they will be used quite a bit during your college career. Students must pay tuition in order to attend college. Tuition is the money that is charged for taking courses at an institution. On top of your tuition, there may be other fees, which will vary depending on what college you are attending, your major, and other factors. There will be tuition and fees based on a student's residency. Residency is divided into two categories, in-state and out-of-state. In order to help students pay for college, they can apply for scholarships as well as financial aid. Scholarships are awards from institutions, companies, or individuals, and the award value will range depending on the scholarship. Financial aid is money students can receive by filling out a FAFSA or alternate need form and can come from the government, the college, employers, and other organizations. These funds are usually reserved for students whose families have lower incomes. The FAFSA is a, the free application for federal student aid. Each year, this is released online and students can fill it out. Financial aid can come in the form of a grant or loan. A grant is money that does not need to be repaid. A loan is money that will need to be paid back later with interest. It is important to discuss with your parents or someone that you trust before taking out loans in college. This can be very difficult to understand, so if you have any questions, reach out to a Gear Up staff, teacher, or college staff member for more help. There are a lot of new terms today, so if you ever have any questions, reach out to one of your Gear Up staff members. We'd love to chat with you and help you with all of your college questions. Thank you for watching.